using a micropipette, sometimes just called a pipetter or a pipette, is uh, relatively straightforward. The hardest part is understanding the units that you're seeing. So notice here that the units are written in microliters. Now, without getting into the details of the conversion, um, we can just simply understand that 1,000 microliters is one milliliter, and then 100 microliters is 0.1 milliliter. And those are the two most relevant units for us, or the volumes for us. To change the volume, simply turn the dial. Just be careful, don't turn it up, even though it'll let you, don't turn it up, otherwise you can damage the mechanism. So simply just turn this, and then uh, it allows you to adjust. You can roll it down to 100, or in this case, we're gonna goof around and stay at the 1,000 microliters or the one mil. It's always a good, ha uh, good idea to uh, get used to the mechanism here. This goes over your finger, and this part here goes over where your thumb is, and you kind of hold it in your hand, like so, and then uh, you can push the plunger, and then push it gently, and you'll come to the spot where there's like a first stop, right? So I call this first stop, right? and again, if you push gently, and then if you push a little bit harder, there's second stop, right? So I define two positions, first stop, second stop, okay? So remember that, first stop, second stop. Now you gotta push gently, because if you push hard, you can go all the way down to second stop with your first push, right? So first stop, second stop. In order to get uh, any type of liquid, we need to use tips, right? So simply open, keep it sterile. So open one, grab it, and then we close our box. You wanna make sure that the uh, tip is snug. So just a gentle push would be sufficient. Sometimes if it's a little bit loose, or if it feels loose, you can just give it a bit of a push, right? Not like this. Once again, keep things sterile, but just like this. Just a little bit of a push, okay? Don't smash into the box. Just a gentle snug push should be sufficient. I'm gonna move this out of the way. <clears throat> so to get my liquid, I go down to first stop, okay? So this is just water, first stop, and then gently release to get your liquid up, okay? So let me show you what it looks like on this end. First stop into the liquid, gently release. Don't pop it open, for example, don't do this. All right, nice and slow, making sure that your pipette tip stays in the liquid the whole time. Sometimes if you're not paying attention and then you start to lift and then your pipette tip comes up, you're gonna start to get these bubbles, right? So just be aware of that. Make sure that you're in the liquid at all times. First stop, nice and slow. And then you have one milliliter in your pipette tip. To eject, simply, Go in, I don't like to airdrop if I don't have to, right? I always prefer to let it touch the liquid or touch the side of the tube, but sometimes you airdrop. But in this case, I'm gonna let it touch the side of the tube. And then once again, gentle out, go to first stop, wait, second stop, and then remove the pipette before letting go of the plunger. So once again, go to first stop into the liquid, nice and slow, pull out, and then to release and get the volume out, nice and slow out, stop at first stop, go to second, then let go, okay? If you go to second stop and then let go before you take it out, notice I got some liquid out. So just make sure that you're very well aware, okay? Second stop, take it out, and then we're done. And then to get rid of the tip, just hit this button, tip comes out and that should go into the biohazard. And that's how we use a micropipette.